The Boys, Season 2, Episode 7, titled Butcher Baker Cancels Matt's Maker. And this episode, being the second last episode of Season 2, it kind of does a really good job of making all of the stuff that is being building up, all the important stuff that's being heavily focused at the beginning of this season. It, it kind of feels that we're hitting a inclusion, that it's building up to something, and this feeling feels like this is the final one set up before we're hitting the inclusion, of course, the final episode next week with the hints and, and the references to, to next season, because there will be a season three. But, here's the thing. I, I keep saying every week, I don't find the boys that interesting or characters, really. I don't find the, the title characters that interesting, really. Even though you have, like, weird conversations and very really funny conversations with Iceman and Hugh basically using cut hole as a way to use as motivation speech. As in, I, I, are, you a, are you a cunt? A cunt, a cunt? Or are you the man fucking the wife? And you're like, first time I ever heard that. That that's funny. Or Iceman being very addicted to <laughs> the Seven's porn parodies. Like he's watching the Deeps and the Homelander and 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 X and Y and Z to the point you're like translucent. How does a translucent porn parody work? How does that? Do knowing the guy's fucking invisible. But anyway, uh. <laughs> You, you know, that's, your head's like, uh, okay, and clearly the, the deep, and clearly this and that and all that kind of stuff, but, uh, but the most engaging stuff, the most interesting stuff is doing with the Seven, and definitely with Homelander now, you know, Ugin says Thorfinn is now his girlfriend, and he's meeting the, meeting the son, and him, and Homelander's like, hey, Hello, hello, son. This is my girlfriend, Ugin Stolfan, who's like, Ugin Spat Nazi. Um, uh, you. It, it, your head thinking, we know where it's going. I kind of knew where it was going, but it's interesting to see how it goes with the mother's reaction, Stolfan's reaction to the mum, who is very anti non superpowered. She's like, that we're gonna say they should bound to us and to every stand and 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 you know bound to us because we are the leaders of this world and we're gonna we are we're gonna smash it you know and uh, <laughs> um yeah anytime we're quoting stuff up I'm using a German accent <laughs> now knowing that oh she's not just a oasis and she's not anti she's racist against anyone with no, no powers, she's, she was born in Nazi, she, she was born in Germany and was all ha waving Hitler flag and was also a Nazi. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> okay. so forever, I'm, until, until the character dies, I am quote, I'm, anything I quote is with a German accent. Anyway, um, but yeah, it, it's just, you just know something bad's going to happen, or just the, the, the awkwardness that comes around it. The deep. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> the deep. I mean, I hear the thing. Is the guy a piece of shit? Yeah. But his church. Oh my God. If it's not referencing, you know what? I don't know what is. It's like, it's like... You're thinking, is this a is is this a religion or a fucking cult? Because they're like, the moment you leave the the cult, uh, the church of what's it, sanity, he they will find ways to link things and do this and that and do X, Y, and Z and and all those things to make basically you left us, so we're going to punish you. And you're like, this is totally that thing, that thing, that type of religion out there, you know what, anyway, uh, <laughs> it's that, it's just like, you're just very curious, and ve it's just like, you just think, hey, this is a really good episode, and, uh, yeah, that's all I will say, it's a really, really well done episode.